Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. The wait is finally over. We got a good Amon Ra St. Brown card. This one is, was a layup, I think, for, you know, it's ever since AKA has been a thing. This one was an easy layup to Sun God, Amon Ra St. Brown. I, and the card art's beautiful. The card is beautiful. The one knock, you guys know probably what it's going to be, but the stats, 98 speed, 98 catching, good route running across the board. I think six foot's like, like I like six foot, six foot two receivers. Obviously, I like having kind of a taller guy on my team as well for certain scenarios, but I like that six foot, six foot two, six foot three kind of height range. I feel like they move the best as far as juking goes and route running and they're, and they're tall enough where they can kind of do everything that you want. So I like Amon Ra's build. I like his size after the catch. He could be better in my opinion. Only a 91 juke move, good COD with a good break. I mean, sorry, not a good break tackle. I didn't mean to say good break tackle. Not a great break tackle. Even kind of low carrying, but juke move and COD. And you guys see it right there. He does get jukebox. So I'm going to talk about his abilities right now. So with Amon Ra, the one knock to me is the lack of Yakim up. If he got Yakim up, AKA, he would be crazy. But I didn't think he would because they gave it to Andre Reed last week. And even Travis Kelsey this week gets it. So Travis Kelsey gets, does get Yakim up. If you want to play that like wide receiver, I think you definitely could. Like on like a Chiefs team or a Y2K team. Exactly pretty glitchy playing a big body like that. 99 speed potentially at receiver. But that's not who we're talking about today. We're talking about Amon Ross St. Brown. So these X factors to me don't make much sense to use because third down threat think about this third down threat aka not only does it need to be a very niche scenario where third down threats gonna light up it also has to be on when you're in that scenario so like two things need to line up for a third down threat that makes this 100 not worth it and if you're running like an angry runs running back or one yak up receiver or one vanguard and obviously your quarterback's gonna have the x factor wasting an x factor on third down threat makes zero sense at all and same with route tech same with route tech why not just pay the one ap for route tech that he gets right here just pay for route tech you have it on for the whole game it doesn't turn on it doesn't turn off it stays on the whole game for one ap and he also does get jukebox which makes him much much better after the catch and that for zero ap or you can go slot apprentice if you don't have a hot route master qb i like that there as well but i think this is the best setup for amon ross St. brown and run your x factors elsewhere Simple as that, run them elsewhere because it's just not worth it. Like we have better X factors in the game than what Amon Rock gets. And I do think he's one of these cards, as I'm gonna say in the, sorry, I did out, I did also do a post comp for the gameplay today because I was recording without my mic on, but um, you still need cards that can play good without abilities. There's some cards in this game that without their X factor, they're average because their abilities are outdated. That, you know, the card speed might be outdated. Look at a guy like Payne Hillis. Without his X factor, He's not a top, he's not a top five running back in the game with it. He's totally insane how good he is. But I'm on rise a card that can be good, can't produce at a high level without the X Factor because he get, because he does get good abilities, has good stats, good route running, good size. And also, by the way, yes, they, he, both these cards, both Kelsey and I'm on St. Brown do get Y2K chems, and you guys can see what the boosts do there. Um, pretty nice right there. I think it's only plus one speed. I think he, I think you can go more, but I think it's only is only plus one speed. I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong on that one. It might go longer than this. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. But either way, still pretty good for Amon Ross St. Brown. And of course, double lines or double Y2K chems for him. So let's hop into the gameplay. And let's see what Amon Ra St. Brown can do today. I can't believe it. But yeah, I looked over halfway through game number one. And I was not recording with my mic on. My mic was just black when I looked up. Usually it has some nice little lights on it. It was just black. So I'm not sure what this dude in the corner is waffling about right now as we speak. But um, he's definitely waffling about something, probably talking about how he's better in the RPO bubble just to kind of see what they're in on defense. And then Amon Ra impressed him with his speed and his agility and the way he moves. And I was like, that's what I probably said, like, that's what he does. He's a great card, things like that. Um, that's probably what I said. But you would think someone that's been doing this for so long would pick up on these things. But I don't even know why that my mic was black. I don't know. So we're doing a post com here. Now, of course, by the way, if you are new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. We've been going live on Twitch almost every single night besides Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, and I've been having a blast. So if you haven't come through yet, come through. This is probably the most fun I've had streaming. You're streaming whatever game I really want, just having fun with the chat. Um, and I'm glad you guys enjoy it too. Everyone who stops by, shout out to you guys for always showing love. And this, this got absolutely bagged. I'm on I had a late release there. It is what it is. But I haven't done a post comp video since I think maybe madden 22 during blitz because i was in my apartment and i couldn't record at night so i think i recorded the gameplay at night when the cards came out and then did a post com in the morning i believe i did that but this guy's been this guy was throwing basically hospital balls the whole game some scary balls um i knew i was gonna catch them i guess pause there but 
um, yeah, he's been doing some scary ones. Definitely doing some scary ones. Throw Montana here in the pocket. I also gotta, oh damn, I gotta go back and record the intro again too. So I gotta do that. Um, but good throw, good catch to Derrick Henry. I, I'm just rewatching the film right now. Rewatching the game with you guys now. So, I mean, drop a comment down below, by the way. Uh, are you excited for Ring of Honor? And do you think Ring of Honor is gonna bring the juice? Ring of Honor is not this week. It's next week, by the way, most likely. But is it going to bring the juice or not? I think it's got a chance to bring the juice. I think it's got a chance to have those lighted up X factors, those light up X factors that are, are like the norm for top tier players at this point, in my opinion. If you don't, if you don't, if you're not rocking X factors, you're simply missing out, in my opinion. But um, I think they have a chance to be that. Um, it, hopefully, there's a good set. There's good, you know. I think, I think last year there were some pretty good like hero cards as well, not just the champions. Or what, I think, what was it called? Champions, and then it was like super champion or something like that. And there we go. We do get our lurk right there. That dude was throwing scary balls all day, and Isaiah Simmons goes up and makes a play right there. And just like that, we're back on offense, and I would expect I'm going to run some bunch offset, maybe run some corner routes, maybe run some post routes. That's pretty much what these gameplays consist of. And this gameplay went better than the Demarius Thomas gameplay, if you guys have watched that video. It literally lasted, I think, like one game before the servers went down, so I had to upload like a one-game video it was kind of annoying but it, it is what it is um so let's see what we got here we got yep corner out i'm on ross what i'm looking for but i believe i think this guy's gonna hit the flat to bo jackson if i had to predict here on the corner out because the flats yep there it is throw that ball right there to bo tight end juke juke look at the movement man this dude's playing stick work is absolutely elite i do also hate calling that stick work just so everyone knows that i hate calling that stick work i, I miss the madden 21 i miss the I, I miss that. You know what I mean? I miss the Madden 21, Madden 20 stick work, the stop and goes, the, like, remember those speed launches you used to be able to do? I mean, I just miss that. I miss that old movement where it felt like it was a video game. Now we're playing, um, now we're playing with a bunch of slugs out here that move just awkwardly and, and weird. I don't really know. Ever since next gen, I've hated the movement, and, uh, that really has never changed in my opinion. But a good, a good quote right there from Amon Ross St. Brown. Again, Amon Ross St. Brown, man, I, I think he's, like, he's not super tall. He's a good height where he's good after the catch. He's a good he's a good enough size where he can act people. He's a good enough size where his route running isn't like super clunky. He's able, he's able to get separation. Um, and if you throw that zero AP jukebox on him, even the uh, even the route tech on him, it makes him a really good card. I think even without an X factor. And we always talk about the cards with the X factors, but there's got to be cards that are good without them as well. And I think Amon Ra is definitely an example of one of those cards because some cards they don't get good abilities really. They just get good X factors, which is which, what really carries the card. But Amon Ra. I think he's good without an X factor, and as you as you guys are seeing in this video right here, um, even without the Route Tech AKA, I don't think it's worth putting Route Tech as an AKA when it's one of your abilities. I don't think it's worth it. But this clip's about to end right here because I just noticed that I'm not recording. Hello, everybody! I just found out my mic has been off this whole entire game. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I I, I gotta go back. I, I recorded the intro. I recorded everything, but now I'm just realizing my mic's been off. So hopefully, you guys did enjoy. I guess I'm gonna do a post com at the beginning of the video. I guess. But hopefully you guys did enjoy that. A <laughs> uh, little post comment. Oh my, he's pressing. Oh my God, Amon Ra just got crazy separation on that. But yeah, uh, I don't really know what I've said in the post comment already. So I'm not going to, I don't know. But that sucks. I looked up and my microphone was just black. Like no lights coming off of it. I realized that my mic bar wasn't moving. And you know, you'd think someone that's been doing this for a while would, you know, probably pick up on these things. But um, no, no, not at all. Not at all. Here we go. I think he wants... What is he looking for here? I'm gonna try undercutting this. Go for the pick. We do get the interception. Good click on user. And that should all but do it, I would imagine. He'll quit on that. I We gotta get a lead of 30 points. We need four more points. No pause yet. But let's go with a well-developed corner route here to Amon Ra. See if we can kind of get it going. And I picked the wrong play. Okay, so we're just gonna run this, I guess. I don't hate this play, honestly. It's a good beater, but it looks like he's gonna be running that gap all blitz so i might just go post route or something like that oh we don't have hot route master yet i'm just gonna run it in short whatever it'll come on route and i got th got throw the ball away okay that was just a bad play i knew the play was i knew it was coming but didn't really pick the right play for that to get picked up okay, same thing max protect we should be able to pick it up here hopefully, hopefully he runs with barrios his first and then we're able to hit amon Ra right behind the earlobe right there that's another easy touchdown for amon rase brown again Great size, great route running. His cards do play well. And I'm someone that's used previous Amon Ra cards, although he hasn't really had good ones since I believe his... What was the last card he had? It was called a... What was the name of that promo? Game Changers? The one with like Justin Herbert on it and things like that. 
that was probably his last good one right but his cards always play well to me play solid and this one again is no different 